Yo, 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 what's good? I'm Squad Bar Sneakers back with another video. And you already know I'm hype as hell to be back. If you guys tried watching my videos on my R Sneakers channel, which, well, the old R Sneakers channel, it says that this account no longer exists. And that's because YouTube wanted to be flawed and close down my account. If you do want to know more information about that, you could go to my other channel. Or I will just explain the I'll just explain it again at the end of this video. I don't mind. But it'll be the last time I explain it because it's just, I'm tired. I'm not tired. Of I'm kind of tired of explaining it, to be honest. I really don't want to explain it again. But I'll do it just one more time for this channel. The point of this video is that the zebras are restocking. If you guys saw my latest video, well, on my last channel, I kind of upload. I actually upload everything else on this channel, but I did. My last video was the dark green Yeezy V2s. Because those were rumored to release by Yeezy Mafia on June 24th, which is like in about two weeks. They did make a tweet saying Zebru. What the hell is Zebru? I don't know. The picture did show a dark green like screen transitioning to the Zebra screen. Well, it had like the Zebra colorway on the screen and it still said the same date, June 24th. So everybody's assuming that the Zebras are restocking on June 24th and they're going to replace the release date of the dark green V2s that were supposed to release. But that release is just gonna get pushed back if those are meant to release still. I'm not exactly sure about that. I don't know what Yeezy Mafia said about that, but I'm just going based off what Yeezy Mafia said. Well, I don't even know this 100% confirmed. This is just a rumor that the Zebras are restocking, so don't hate me if I'm wrong. So that being said, your boy might just get a pair of Zebras finally, because these shoes were dumb limited. There were seven to 8,000 pairs. That's almost impossible to get. Like these shoes are worth what? They were worth when they came out, I think two grand and then the price went down. Well, before they even released, they were two grand. And then they came down to like 1800, 1600, 1500. And now they range around 1500, which is a good price for, that's actually a great price for the amount that they released. But now what sucks is the people that bought their pairs for resale, they might've just spent too much money because they did restock. And everybody was saying, wait to buy your zebras because they were gonna restock in the summer and this was the rumor for a while and look what happens. The rumor pops up again closer to the release date and Yeezy Mafia is hardly ever wrong. I guess they were wrong about the dark green V2s but they weren't exactly wrong. They just said it's a rumor like they said. Rumors are just rumors or not. They don't confirm it until it's confirmed which that's really good on their part because they don't make you, well, they do make you believe that they're gonna release, but they still give you the facts. If it's a rumor, it's a rumor. If it's confirmed, it's confirmed. Anyways, all that being said, that's all the information I wanted to give you guys on the Zebra restock. There's really nothing else to say about it. The price is gonna be the same. The release date just changed, obviously. There obviously is gonna be more pairs. They say there's gonna be, they said there's less pairs than the breads. So I'm assuming it's gonna be, it's still gonna be limited. Like they're probably gonna even out the quantity compared to like maybe the breads. I'm not sure, like adding on the previous release. So I don't know. I don't know the exact quantity. You guys just have to wait. Like I said, follow Yeezy Mafia on Twitter. Like I, they did not tell me to say all this. I just, I really like their, I mean, I don't like their content. I mean. They're not, they don't have content, but I like their tweets. Sometimes it could be dicks, but follow them if you want to know all your latest easy information. They do have it all. They know it all. So go ahead and just follow them on Twitter. Anyways, going back to what happened to my old channel. So as you guys know, if you guys were lower subscribers, I did actually have two strikes on my channel for uploading like fake easy content, which was BS. Like I took all that down. I don't even post fake easy stuff no more. I don't even talk about it no more. And I don't plan to either. But yeah, I had two strikes of that because I did reviews on these fake companies. And the only reason I did those was to get the shoes so I can show you guys what like fakes look like so you guys can actually compare them to the reels but i guess youtube doesn't want me doing that so i can't do that no more nor am i gonna do it anyways so here's the thing when you get one strike your account you're, it's just a warning basically but when you get two strikes you get your account suspended for two weeks and that's what happened i didn't upload for like the last two weeks of april and i came back in may and after that i just uploaded consistently and i thought my channel was fine and then no memorial day comes around and they want to hit me with another third strike and that's when i get i was like literally laying in my bed just chilling, watching a video. I forgot what video I was watching exactly, but I was just watching a video. I get an email from YouTube saying, your account has been terminated. I'm like, wow, this does not just happen. I had a feeling of what happened, but I didn't know exactly what happened, but I still had a feeling. So I was like, let me open this email real quick, see what happened. And next thing you know, my account is gone. I tried going into our sneakers, gone. Next thing I'm, what I'm doing, I'm on my laptop looking how to get my account back, this and that. I'm pissed as hell at this point because our sneakers had what, almost 25,000? And that's halfway to the point of the giveaway that I wanted to do. It annoyed me so much because I now I gotta start from zero again. And I really wanted to give you guys a pair of Yeezys. You guys honestly deserved it. But now I'm stuck doing it all over again. I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet, so don't, get, don't ask me about the Yeezy giveaway. Please don't ask me right now. Right now I'm still trying to think of what I'm gonna do to get you guys those Yeezys in a good amount of time because making you guys go wait all the way back to 50k is just ridiculous so let's just let me just think about it first and then i'll get back to you guys but yeah back to my account getting determinated i tried doing everything i sent my appeal and then they're supposed to reply within 24 to 48 hours which i waited 24 to 48 hours never got an email in my inbox so i waited like a week or two and just like three days ago four days ago 
I found out that it was in my junk mail. They said that they denied my appeal and that my account is gone. There's no way they can reinstate it. So when that happened, I was like, all right, you know what? Screw this. I'm going to just grind again. I'm going to start a brand new channel. Still going to be our sneakers because I can't change my name. Like my, ch my name already has like a reputation for itself. So I'm just going to keep that name and just go all over again from zero. And hopefully my loyal supporters will find me somewhere through YouTube. Thank God I had some of you guys go follow my Yo It's Randy channel, which is my just my other channel. And I'm going to announce on that channel soon to get those subscribers to subscribe to this channel. And hopefully this channel will have some kind of like, it'll speed up a little bit more than it would if I didn't have any other way to announce it. Because if I started from zero, I'd be gaining like one to two subscribers a day and that'd just be super damn slow. So I'm so glad I have those loyal supporters that actually subscribe to my other channel. Anyways, that being said, I lost my channel, got it back, lost it again, and literally lost it completely. And now I'm making this channel, which it's still our sneakers. I'm gonna, it's gonna be the same exact content. It's actually gonna get even better. I just need to get back on track to where I was. I just need to get all my viewers back because without them, it really hurts. It's very unmotivated, if that's a word, I'm not even sure, to not have those viewers or not see the views. Like I would literally, as soon as I post a video, I get 100 views in like 10 minutes and that was like super motivated to me. And I know that's not a lot of views for like bigger channels, but for me, like a channel my size, it showed that those 100 of you probably had your notifications on and you guys like you guys would open my videos as soon as you guys saw the notification, which was super sick. That, me that means a lot to me. It means that you guys really want to watch my content. I really appreciate those of you that have your notifications on. And that being said, I'm still doing fan of the day on this channel. I mean, I know I probably won't have one every day for now on. Like I want to have one every single day, but for now, like since I'm starting very low, like I don't know how many people are actually gonna watch my videos. It's gonna be very hard to actually have those people like comment and turn the notifications on and have different people every single day because I'm trying to have a set, different person every single day. All you gotta do to be fan of the day is turn your notifications on, make sure you're one of the first people to comment notification squad. It has to be notification squad, just like our squad except notification squad. Change the R for notification, that's it. If you're one of the first people to comment, you will be fan of the day for the next videos. So make sure that you guys turn your notifications on and comment. And also subscribe, because I mean, you gotta subscribe anyways, what am I saying? By the way, now this channel will only upload Monday through Friday. Before it used to be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. But Saturday and Sunday were sneakerhead weekends is what I was gonna plan on calling them, but it never happened because my channel got shut down. I was gonna have videos called Sneakerhead Saturdays and Sneakerhead Sundays for other smaller YouTubers, but now I'm probably smaller than those YouTubers that I shouted out. Which I hope if you are like one of those people that I shouted out on my channel, I put you on my channel. I, it would really mean a lot if you guys shout me out and get me out to the sneaker community again because I do need this channel to grow, like I said. So yeah, that being said for now, videos Monday through Friday. Make sure you stay tuned every single day. I do want to have content for you guys every single day, Monday through Friday. Saturday and Sundays are my days off, just like it is on my other channel. I try to upload, well, I want to upload every single day on both channels, Monday through Friday. All that being said, guys, I'm sorry if I made this video a little long. I just wanted to get all the information out there, have this channel like on track. I want to let you guys know exactly what I'm doing. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Actually, don't even, just, just subscribe. Don't even forget, like, don't not forget. Just subscribe, like right now, as soon as you, like right now, as we're talking, like as I'm speaking right now, subscribe. Make sure you stay woke, our sneaky sign now.